We can all be controlling at times, to varying degrees. Some of these are necessary for times of emergency, but we shouldn't live as if everything is an emergency. Too many of us are walking through life with anxiety levels way too high and peaceful feelings way too low. Yes, I think we could all use a little more we'll see in our life. How do you see controlling tendencies sneaking in for you? I surveyed some of my friends about this, and here's the list that emerged. Needing to know every detail to ensure you're not caught off guard. Obsessively trying to figure out how to prevent bad things from happening. Having an unusual sense that if you take charge of something, you can make things work out. Assuming others aren't capable. Being overly rigid with boundaries. Using the silent treatment. Treating small annoyances as epic offenses. Looking for opportunities to say, I told you so. Refusing to let others see your vulnerable side so you can stay in charge. Ugh, what a list. And if you find yourselves doing some of these same things, me too. Let's have a little grace for ourselves because often what we've experienced with others have fed these feelings of needing to control. The risk of trusting others and trusting God will make us anxious at times. But what if we let those anxious feelings be a reminder that because we know God, we can find peace in His faithful love, justice, and righteousness? In Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 23 through 24, this is what it says. This is what the Lord says. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boasts boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. I love those verses. What if we started looking at the pitfalls in this journey as ways to gain more strength rather than letting hard times steal our strength? As I was studying this topic, I found this quote in the Lexham Survey of Theology. Likewise, the emotional life that Scripture commends for the believer is not solely one of self-control nor of emotional denial. Christians are supposed to experience peace in relation to God as well as joy, hope, and gratitude. We aren't to live in denial of our emotions, but we do want to exercise self-control when the anxiety of our more intense feelings makes us want to say and do things we normally wouldn't. Okay, honest admission here. More than what happens to me, it's my reaction that messes up my peace. Maturity often comes when we feel discomfort and disappointment, and we're able to deal with it without having some sort of come apart. Now, I am not the master of all we are talking about in this study. I'm a student, just like you. But I am making progress. And by progress, I don't mean that I have less issues trusting people. I don't mean that I have less anxiety when hard things keep happening. It doesn't mean that I now trust God perfectly but I am getting better at finding God's peace more quickly. Now, if I were in your seat right now, I might wanna roll my eyes and think, good for you, Lisa, but how? I wanna know how to make this shift toward trusting God more and freeing myself from the weight of trying to control it all. 